Why are people having trouble with sleep? Well, Proverbs uh, 14, verse 6 says, Knowledge is easy to him that understands. So what my aim is, is to give you an understanding of sleep. I want to show you what happens when you sleep. And when you understand what happens when you sleep, you begin to you begin to have a knowledge on the important times to sleep and why. There's a little tiny gland in the base of the brain and it's called the pineal gland. And the pineal gland is about the size of a, maybe a, a, la, a macadamia nut, and it's right in the base of your brain. And the pineal gland releases four hormones every night, but only in certain hours. In the uh, winter time, it's between nine and two. And I think your summertime ends end of October, is that right? We call it daylight saving. So in Australia, I think daylight savings just about begun. And that when daylight saving, so at the moment you're still on summertime, yeah? So at the moment it's between... 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. Why only those times? It has much to do with the moons and the tides. Um, light and dark signals are fed through the optic nerve to a control center in the brain where your body clock is located. And your body clock communicates with the pineal gland. And these are the hormones that are released. One is melatonin. A lot of people have heard of melatonin. Some people that don't sleep very well take melatonin. Well, we naturally release melatonin in that time, and it's called the fix and rejuvenate nighttime hormone. So it is this hormone that probably is mostly responsible for the fix and rejuvenation that's happening in our brain and our body while we sleep. Another hormone is serotonin. That's the mood hormone. So if you want to feel good, go to bed early. What are the kids like if they have a late night? Not very happy. <laughs> Either, either of the adults. Another hormone that's released in these hours from the pineal gland is arginine vasotocin. Those kids are having a ball out there somewhere, yeah? Arginine vasotocin is our natural painkiller. Did you know you have a natural painkiller? When you go to bed in these hours, your natural painkiller is released. But your natural painkiller, when it's used, it leaves a waste. And if that waste hasn't been released, then the next night, arginine vasotocin won't be released. How do we get rid of the waste from using our arginine vasotocin? That's exercise. When you exercise in the day, as you perspire, you are letting go of the waste. And that's why exercise is so important to be able to increase your ability to sleep. Ecclesiastes says, the sleep of a laboring man is sweet. In other words, when you physically move through the day, you get physical exhaustion at night and you can sleep better. So arginine vasotocin is your natural painkiller and arginine vasotocin puts you into a deep sleep. So the earlier you go to bed, the more likely you are to fall into a deep sleep. The other hormone that's released is epithalamin. And epithalamin is a hormone that increases learning capacity. God designed our brain to be learning new things right up until the day we die. Many people's brains deteriorate because they stop learning new things. We should ever learn new things. I love the story of the 90-year-old man who learned to play the piano and the 92-year-old man that graduated from law school. After hearing the lecture on renewing the mind, a 75-year-old man came up to me and he said, I recently put away my most difficult violin pieces. He said, I'm going home to get a man again. <laughs> so apithalamin increases learning capacity. So to be able to understand and retain the new things that you're learning, we need to go to bed early. You ask any teacher, they can tell the children that had a late night because they just don't get it. <laughs> they don't retain. And epithalamin slows down aging. Everyone over the age of 25 likes that one. So these are the hormones that are released in these hours every night.